Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. And today we got a service call for a Daikin inverter system. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So these are actually two separate condensing units but I have a standing pressure of 100 pounds have one fitting here one fitting down there and same thing for this side I have a hundred pounds standing pressure there's a special 410a fittings just a quick note here not sure if you can see but we have 24 degrees and dropping out here so let's see what's going on here so my original call was for the laundry room and the thermostat is in the gym we are now in the gym and we have two thermostats here. One is a master controller, and we both have a blinking light here. We were getting a L5 error code. All right, I got my amp meter on both compressors right now. Both condenser fan motors started. So it's a matter of time before these compressors start. Let me see what's going on. 5 amps, 11 amps. I got 11 amps on this one and 5 amps on this one. It was trying to ramp up and we shut down condensing fans. Both shut down, everything shut down. No more amps. 469, 470, 470. Nothing blue, still got our power coming in. Four seventy. Four seventy. Four seventy. 9 amps, 11 amps, and shut down and tried a second time. Didn't even see these pressures move at all. So I tried three times and it keeps cutting off. We're getting an error code for L5 and that stands for inverter instantaneous overcurrent DC output. Got defective compressor coil, such as wiring disconnection or insulation failure, compressor startup failure, mechanical lock, and defective inverter PCB. I also found some info online that says L5 stands for Outdoor Compressor Motor Ground Fault Short Circuit. So let's start by checking these compressors with resistance and move on from there. All right, point three, continuity, point three, continuity, point three, continuity. So this checks out. Next. Grounds also to the casing of the motor. Let's try that. No grounds. This compressor is good. It also gave us amps, so I don't think any of these actually have that issue. I think it's another problem, but let's just double check. This one's good. Now we're going to proceed to the next one. So we're going to make sure that none of these wires for the compressor are grounded either. All right. This motor actually started, so I don't think there's any issues with that, but let's just check. 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0.9, 0 0.8, 0.9. We'll have the same continuity, matches up. And yeah, let's check for any grounds. Also the casing of the motor. Checks out, they both pulled amps. 
and you know if there was a ground with any of these line wires we would have popped a breaker or something like that we would have lost power we still got power you know it's got to be something with that inverter board the pcb that's the last thing that's ruled out as far as dykin's tech codes and i'm pretty sure that's what it is it's most likely the problem i was not able to show this part but basically we ran through some codes on the pcb board and we checked the inverter so the three wires that were coming in l1 l2 l3 we basically disconnected them from the compressor let's pretend this was a three-phase compressor even though it's not but regardless we're talking about the three wires we took off the three wires and we put them in a safe place and then between any two terminals between let's say the red and black we checked volts dc and we watched it modulate from 0.0, .0 volts dc all the way up to 5 volts dc and then you're supposed to be reading that between any two combinations so let's say the red and black 0 to 5 volts dc then the red and the green 0 to 5 volts dc then the green and the black 0 to 5, 5 volts dc you're gonna watch it modulate but this is only after you put in a certain code and you go in a certain test mode. So that's basically how they were ch uh, checking the inverter. Yeah, I'm thinking. Okay, yeah, I held BS one mode. I now got the two with two with the two zeros flashing. Hit the set button 28 times. Yeah, till we get to 228. Okay, I got 228. Hit the return VS3. Okay, I got the one flashing. Hit hit set button VS2. Okay, I got a zero flashing. Hit return VS3 once. Okay, the zero button is steady. Hit return BS3 again. Now we got 200 flashing. Hit the BS1 mode. Okay, it went blank. Put the wires back on the compressor. Okay, so this is the zero setting. The first one, first setting was to check the inverter and we check to see if the zero to five volts modulates so now i want to put these back all right so we got a blank i want to hold down bs1 mode for five seconds so we get a two okay i got the two with the two zeros flashing all right set bs2 39 times Five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Okay, thirty-nine. Yes. Okay, return button once. All right, I got a zero flashing. One, two, three. Set button three times. I got a three flashing. One time. All right, hit the return BS3. Okay, got a steady three. Return BS3 one time, okay. I got 200 flashing. Eh. Mode, mode button again, okay, now the light went off. Yeah, the condensing fan motors. All right there, five, 10, 11 amps. Two amps, one of them is staying on. 2.5 amps. This is a test for one unit. Okay, so that is what's happening. Let me put both meters on this. Regardless, we checked 
for our compressors for any grounds or faults because that's what their code stated from there i actually had to get on the phone with technical support because if you can see here there's a board here where that has dip switches and some functions with some modes when and some lights led lights so with this board you can put this into test modes so what i did was i got on the phone with technical support he explained to me what codes i need to press and i think it was something with 28 that we first checked to see if the inverter works so what we did is we pulled the wires off of the compressors both of them and then with volts dc we were checking to see if it modulated from zero to five volts dc and what happened was both did this, this one did it much faster from 0.0, .0 to 5 volts dc very fast we checked between across all three legs i will make another video on this as well we did the same thing for this one but it was going super slow so we had an idea that maybe this one might have an issue each unit has a inverter board but this works together this is the master unit and this is the slave unit they work together next from there he ran through some other test mode after checking the inverter boards first to see if it modulated the dc voltage i believe that was called a transistor check from there we tried to start the unit again and we still cut off with the same error codes so then what we did next was with the tech support we isolated the circuits so we basically disconnected the slave unit which is this one where the inverter board was modulating very slowly and then we turned this one on and like that that was the only way we were able to keep something running right now we're running at 5.9 about 6 amps on this compressor and condensing units running i'm just gonna go check for temperatures we have a pressure difference now slight pressure difference we just have to see right now if we're getting good temps so in conclusion we got this circuit to stay running and give the customer heat up until we can get the system fully up and running which is absolutely amazing thank god for tech support and looks like we got a bad inverter board for this one never be afraid to call tech support because i'm telling you right now you would not troubleshoot this unit if you don't know the codes inside this board to know what you got to do to run it through all these safety test modes you can get an idea by downloading the manual there's two daikin apps that i would recommend downloading which the guy actually recommended to me so there's tools that you can use online but there's nothing like tech support to save time save money for the customer and give them that well needed heat so from here i'm just going to double check from our, our indoor unit to make sure we're getting heat and we're out of here i gotta change this board i will be back to change that board so let's close this all up double check for temperature but that's about it and we're still running now we're both in heat mode with no flashing lights i am getting over 100 degrees on this pipe we are operating at the moment condenser fan motor is running I can hear the compressor running so we have this side of the systems running this side needs a new inverter board we're just gonna go inside and double check our temperatures all right I found one of the air handlers Let's see we're getting over 100 degrees so this is the air handler and we're moving air good to go if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe I'll catch you all next time.